Welcome to episode three of our online show. Uh, today we're just finishing up a photo shoot of a recent project that we've done and we wanted to give you guys the grand tour, talk you through a few more of the details uh, and some of the finer things in the kitchen that I think you might appreciate. So we're in Hertfordshire, our clients were a married couple with two children. They wanted this space to be open, airy uh, and bright effectively. Um, they wanted a TV area with a sofa but also a big cooking area as they're entertaining quite a lot of the time. Um, one of their things that they specified was a breakfast bowl, they wanted a bit more of an informal dining area. Uh, overall look, the client really wanted a, a quite a modern feel while still retaining an element of the traditional look. So what we've ended up with is a, is a shaker door, but in a lay on construction, so there's no frame around the door, uh, with a traditional cornice. Um, we have a mantel area, but with an induction hob, so it's uh, again in that mix of the traditional and the modern. Uh, we've got our grid of appliances, which works really well, uh, a bit more practical, some people prefer that than, than, a, uh, than a range cooker. And you've got your American style fridge freezer. Um, so a lot of different elements, but overall, it's bright, uh, the pop of blue is very quirky and I think it works amazingly. There are two elements of the kitchen that I personally absolutely love. So number one is this broken forward hob area. It's a bit more of a traditional look, but set up like this with the shaker door, the double fit chunky cover ends either side. I think it works really, really nicely. And then moving up, number two is actually this mantel area. So again, in a more traditional kitchen, you would have an over mantel. We've done it here with a built-in extractor, so keeping it more modern, but you've still got the nice run of cornice around and shape of handle above, I think it works well. So what we've done here is a setback painted infill. So effectively it's prime MDF, it's set back from the top of the units and it joins the units in the ceiling. And this is then painted and decorated afterwards to all blend in with the walls and the ceilings around. So there's no dead space, you can look like there's loads of uh, cavernous gap between the front and the back of the unit uh, and it just is a much smarter detail. Another key element in this kitchen is the American style fridge freezer. Now we work with a few brands on this but one of our favourites is the Fisher & Paco. There's really only two options when it comes to this fridge you have with the water dispenser or without. As you can see they've gone for the water dispenser here. So great model, double door fridge, maximising storage. And an amazing feature is this freezer drawer. The whole thing comes down. Really, really easy access to your food. One of the most popular configurations that we do in a kitchen is a grid or cube of appliances. So usually it consists of two 45 high uh, appliances and two 60 high appliances. So here we've got a combi steam oven, you've got a microwave oven and two single ovens below. So it makes up this nice grid, all very symmetrical. Usually reserved for a more, more modern kitchen, but I actually think it works really well in this traditional kitchen. Gives it that element of something a bit more modern, uh, bringing it into the 21st century. I think the final element of this kitchen that made it really wow was this worktop. So it's a veined quartz uh, worktop and it actually has a lot of streaks and veins that are on the blue side so it really brings out the deep blue colour in the rest of the kitchen. I think it's finished it absolutely perfectly, especially with the cabinets that's there behind the hob as well. Thanks for tuning in guys. Remember to like, subscribe or share and please let us know in the comments if there's anything else you want to see or for us to be filming.